guys, Cindy out of here with Marity Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Um, I had previously done a review, and to be honest with you, I can't remember <laughs> what I did it on. And I unbelievably lost all of my video footage. So, here's what I decided to do. Um, because on my review, I had wrote the no I had written a note of unfinished projects and journals. Um. I, I guarantee you when I start showing you some of this stuff, you guys are going to be like, yep, 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 I'm right there, I'm right there, I'm right there. All right, I went out to my shelf just for the heck of it. I grabbed some journals. These are journals that are not my current journals, but these are journals that I have done some work in. There, I was playing around with some ink. Made a cool little page. This came out of a off of magazine uh, packaging, I guess. Um, cute little page and a cute little page. That is it. <laughs> that is all that's done in that journal. All right, so that one's on the shelf. This one has a little bit more done in it. This I ended up using as that's actually the back cover. I started using it as a wipe off, right? So, yeah, it has more color in it. It has more, um, you know, I used it for stencil wipe off. It has some blank pages in it. Who knows, just another blank page. Just stuff, right? Didn't really do a whole lot to it. But, again, that I just tried out some new stamps that I had gotten. Again, this one sits on a shelf. All right. This one... <laughs> I don't know when I did her. This is actually a junk journal that I made. Um, this was a piece of cardboard and drop paper that I had down at one point on my desk. And this is a couple years old. I mean, I can't even tell you when I made this. It was a long time ago. Um, apparently, I decided to do a girl on that page. And I did a lot of color on the different things. Um, let's see, I glued that down. Old envelopes, you know, book pages. All right, so here it is. Here's another one that is just sitting on my shelf. I'm not sure what I did to that. Apparently, I cut that short. Um, that's just sitting on my shelf completely unfinished. Here's the Canson Mixed Media. This one has a little bit more into it. This is a sketchbook that I was using as a sketchbook. And this has where I would take a face and I would try to recreate it. I don't know what happened to her. Again, this was in 2013, I think. 14, somewhere in there. But again, I did a bunch of doodles, um, played around some faces, some birds, a deer. That deer, I just could not get his face right. I don't know what the deal was with that. but um, So here it is. That one was in 2014. 2014. Uh, my Buddhas. So, yeah. Oh, this is my... That was in 2016, Susan B. Anthony. But here's another one. Another journal that is not finished sitting on my shelf. Uh, let's see. This one, this I actually, I believe, was a class Wanderlust that I started doing. Um, I did a few pages, which I had fun with. I mean, I really enjoyed doing the pages. This was back in 2016, and here we go. My question to you guys is, how many of these do you have, and what are you going to do with them? Uh, this one is from JKIS, which is um, Journaling Crazy Island style. I actually have one of these that's completed. This is one that um, is not. This is a journal that I handmade. Um, had no clue what I was doing at the time. That's a belt buckle. Uh, I had, like I said, I had no idea what I was doing. This is just a piece of canvas and some string, but I did it with watercolor paper. Uh, and I started doing the class of JKIS, or this is one of the, look at that, messed up her eye. Um, that was Gina's. This is when Gina did a class and she did um, a watercolor scene, uh, a sea scene, a sea scene, only done in whites, blacks, and grays, which I thought was really fun. And then I just used up the rest of the paint over here. But yeah, here's another 
you know, journal that, um, this is another Gina lesson right here. This was the birds when we did a bunch of dirty birds. I oh, like he's cute. But yeah, so, you know, again, that's a Gina lesson too. This was in 2014? No, 2016. This was in 2016. This was 2015. So, you know, here's another journal that I've got sitting here that is only half done, right? And I just have a couple more to show you. And I think, I think what I'm trying to do is, um, first of all, I have a question. How many more of you have these out there? Uh, the, again, this is another journal that I had made um, at the time. had no idea what I was doing. I was just trying my best to figure it out. Uh, this is a fabric-covered cardboard that I just glued on. That's actually, I think, yes, paste. I glued on there. Um, and then this was, a, this was Lessons. We had to write our intentions. This was 2015. And again, this is a course or a class um, that I did a bunch of pages in. That was kind of cool. I would do, you know, it's funny. I look at these now and I would do so many things different. Look at her. She's really messed up. <laughs> She's got, her eyes are going that way. <laughs> But anyways, um, my question is, what do you guys do with these? And do you sit and try to finish the journals? Do you say the heck with it and put them on a shelf? Do you give them away? Do you? So this is more of a, a review of what I've got, what, I've, what I'm facing, and trying to decide what I'm going to do with it. Um, this is a large dilution journal that I actually took a Diane Reevely class with, as you can tell, because all of this is Diane Reevely style. And, you know, this journal has a whole bunch of stuff in it. Um, but, you know, am I ever going to finish it? I, I don't know. I, I just don't know. And I'm not sure what to do with this stuff. So I'm really, what I'm looking for is let's, let's get a conversation going. Let's get some comments and say, hey, you know, what do we do? Oh, that's an old piece of art I must have stuck in there. That's from a different, ma that's from an old scrapbook that I got probably at a thrift store and then I made this page out of it. That was years ago. Um, but I'm trying to figure out, you know, what am I going to do with all of these old journals? And that one I did. Um... And, you know, what do you guys do with them? Do you have journals like this sitting around? Ones that you've started or maybe classes you've started and haven't finished? Um, do you have every in, any intention of finishing them? Do you, you know, do you just say the heck with it and tear out the couple pages that you've got done and get rid of the journal? I mean, what do you do? All right, so that's my review. I want to know, and I want to get a conversation going. And if you'd like, you can actually start a conversation as well in my creative year on what do you do with half-finished or just-started journals. I would love to know. All right, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope we, you know, I've given you something to think about, and let's get a conversation going and see what we can find out, and maybe we can help each other out, get rid of these bookshelves full of just started or partially finished journals okay as always don't forget to like comment share and subscribe give me a thumbs up and have fun that's what life's all about happy creating and i will talk to you guys again soon Bye bye